Shut up and sit down. Shut down, getting elimination on King Cole. And it's pretty bad. Shut down. On the road. Shut down, getting a down on the field. Down in the end, it's like, bro. No, actually, Wolf is actually having a stroke. Um, <laughs> I am? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm so confused. <laughs> Let's just go to the game. <laughs> just, just, just go. Welcome everybody to a new segment of Amateur Hour Community, Titch's Team Talk, where today we have Hank Apotamus of Meat Pack. Hank, how are you doing today, buddy? Doing great, man. I appreciate you having me. Uh... On the show. This is my first time I've been on uh, AH commentary where we're not playing firewall, so it should be fun. Yeah, so, uh, ooh, my mic is really loud. Holy crap. This is what happens when uh, I take over production right after Paco and everything's a little messed up. All right, that should be a little bit better. Uh, quick look at chat here. Who we got? We got Karen. We got 40 ounce Frank. We got Timber. We got Rad Bingham, Cinderella, Billy Boy, um, Ali Abbott. What's going on? Everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, we're here to talk a little bit today about uh, Meat Pack. I thought it would be a fun idea to kind of just see 
man, why is my mic paying off the bread? Crazy. Um, to see sort of, uh, you know, the stories, the background, and sort of where Meat Pack formed, and, you know, maybe give us a little insights to, to some fun stories. So, uh, Hank, let's start with just you as a player. Like, when did you start playing Firewall? Awesome. Uh, yeah, so I started playing Firewall in, uh, let's see, it was probably February of last year when I got the game. Uh, it's interesting for me because, like, Firewall is the first video game I've gotten into in probably 10 years. And when I got into Firewall, I had, I was at a really interesting place, like, in my life at the time because I was actually, I had just, I was living in, like, a halfway house, like, whenever I got Firewall, bro. I had been on a, like a drug and alcohol bender for like 10 years. And I had sold all my PlayStation, all my games. I didn't have any games or anything like that at all. And I got a PlayStation and my girlfriend bought me a VR and just saw the gun on Amazon and thought that it was something that I would like. Like I had no idea that it came with the game or what the gun was at all. Like, so she bought me a VR and bought me the game, not even knowing that she bought me the game. And it was the first game that I had played in like 10 years. And uh, it was a time when I, you know, I just needed something to get into at the time. Like I had kind of had a lot of stuff going on in my life and it kind of came at a time where like, it was just really, really cool for me to like be able to connect with like the people that I met in Firewall just because where I was at in my life. So I started playing in February of uh, last year and Meepack was something for me that like came right out of the gate. Like we weren't a team or anything like that. We didn't play competitively, but I just met a couple guys uh, that they were the only people I played with. Like I would get online and play with these guys uh, regularly. And the first guy I started playing with where Meat Pack came from was a guy named Pistol Pack and Pete. And okay. Pete was, uh, he still plays a little bit. He doesn't play that much anymore, but he kind of introduced me to the guys that he played with. And that was 40 ounce Frank, a uh, guy that doesn't play anymore that went by shooting shit and another guy named Ice Throne. And meat was something that we used to just scream during the game. If like, you know how you hear the hit marker whenever you're yeah. get, like hitting somebody? That was just what we would call that. Like if you were getting a hit marker, we would just scream meat like, and you know, at each other. So it became like something that we just screamed at each other whenever we would get a hit marker. And then, it, like, in PlayStation Messenger and shit, it was something that, like, it would be a question, like, just meet, question mark. Like, that's how we would say, like, we were going to get on like fire. Like, that, 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 was your, that was everybody's call. That was our call. Like, you just text meet, question mark, and that means we're getting online. Yeah. And so, so I used to roam with those guys, bro. And, I mean, I didn't play a lot. Like, I, I really didn't compare to that. Like, Frank and those guys were online fucking 15 hours a day back then, you know what I mean? Like 10 hours a day. And I would just get on where I could and I would just kind of run with them as a squad. And, uh, you know, we did that for a little while. And, uh, you know, I played on and off and on and off. And uh, we just kind of started seeing, Frank was playing as like a, uh, a sub on Killer B's team in season one of the North American Firewall League. Okay. And wasn't really playing a lot, you know what I mean? And just kind of was playing as a sub. And so we decided that we wanted to just have like our group of friends put together a team like that was just the people that we play with regularly and enter a team for season two. And so what that looked like then it was, I don't know, I think you have a picture. It, the first one from season two, it was. Uh, yes. Me. So I, I have a, a couple of photos here. So, so that was our, wow. Yeah, that was our roster for the first season that we played. Uh, yeah, so this uh, was season two. I, I, this is, uh, I would say, the team that I remember most uh, for Meat Pack is this was the season that I was participated mostly in uh, with 40 ounce Frank, Tie Dye Tiger, End Zone, you, Nickel Watt, and Pickle, uh, Pistol Pack, and Pete. Right. So, so this was the squad, dude, this was the squad. Like, we had never, I had never, I, w I had less than a million XP when we started this. And uh, I had never even played in a private match. And so we put the team together like a few weeks before the tournament. And we didn't really have a lot of expectations going into it. You know what I mean? Like we just kind of wanted to play with our buddies and play for fun. And uh, we had a pretty good turnout for that season, honestly. Yeah. Um, so 
going back to that real quick here. Let me see. Let me pull this up here. Look at these squads. Like this was stacked. Like this this season was stacked. I mean, you had Hoons Goons, Chicken Noodle Soup, NAC, Old Dirty Gunners, and Unknown in the top five. And so I guess this was this was the roster after the end of the regular season. Yeah, and so this was yeah, this was the this was the end of the regular season going into playoffs, if I recall. So that's like pretty good company, good to keep in firewall. You know what I mean? Uh, as far as teams, we didn't like I said, we didn't have a lot of expectations going into it. We we didn't like age commentary. I'll tell you that from this season, like playing the matches, I felt like we got like we never got picked to win. You know what I mean? And like I don't know, no one really knew who we were. You know what I mean? So we we used to joke around about it. Like we would be like, we're not even gonna put a stream up. You know what I mean? Like. These guys don't ever give us, you know, they don't ever hype us up or they don't ever have anything good to say about us. Like, we're just not even going to put a stream up. And we used to joke around know. about that. And we always did. You know what I mean? But uh, So season two for us was a hard one to cast. Sure. Like, it was a hard one to cast. So one, like, there was 24 teams, was it? 24 teams trying 24 to keep teams. track of everybody. Um, it was it was rough, man. Um and you know we're, you're always i mean like, like i do i look at everything based on statistics and stuff right so like you got a team that coming in that you don't you've never really seen before like okay sure. look at your first matchup there like okay come on like your first round is versus NAC and playoffs like you can't tell me that i'm going to fucking honestly say oh me pack's going to take this one like 12 sure. <laughs> like, well, I, was, I was talking more, more like yeah. that. we got a lot of coverage like we had a lot of coverage from uh AHC in the in the regular season i feel like you guys covered a lot of matches that season you know we I covered mean? a ton of matches oh my God. That so we thought we were getting covered almost every match you know what i mean and yeah. we we always watch the streams back you know what i mean and be real critical of you guys. You know what I mean? This is before I knew you guys at all. And uh, I didn't even have, I'd never even been on Twitch. The only time I first got on Twitch was to watch basically ourselves play and the matches. You know what I mean? So it was kind of yeah. not only my introduction to you guys, but it was also my introduction to Twitch, which later on down the road was like my, you know, led me into like doing a little streaming myself. So, so really but, what you can say is AHC pushed you guys to be to be better or to be the best that you could be to prove us wrong really so i i mean i was doing I you a just service you, i don't know how you drum that up from what i said <laughs> sure, Dick, you can have that one buddy you can have that one but no we we put a team together man and uh you know guys like i mean nick what who uh you know at the time he didn't have much he hadn't been playing the game much more than i had and uh you know, I'd say he'd probably come to be one of the best players in the game, in my opinion. You know what I mean? And so a guy like that, a guy like 40 ounce Frank, who's one of the best players in the game now. He doesn't play that much anymore. And we had a pretty good supporting cast of. It didn't you know, uh, didn't 40 ounce Frank become Frankie one shot? Those are two totally different guys. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's only room but, for one Frank. But no, so for me, like like I said, I was this was like a really like just a little personal background on like me and where I was at, like at the time, like I said, I, I was in like this really big transitional time in my life where this was like a, something that like I really looked forward to all the time. So I was literally like living in like a men's like halfway house playing with 15 other guys that were like all like recovering drug addicts, like in my room playing fucking firewall matches at the time, bro. And uh, it was, it was, it was cool, man. You know what I mean? Like it was something that really like, we really looked forward to every week was like setting those matches up. And uh, so for me, like, like I said, it was a time where uh, it really like filled a void that I needed to fill at the time. You know what I mean? And I met some yeah. great guys and I still, these are guys that I still talk to every day, even when we're not playing firewall, you know what I mean? So that, uh, that first season for us, I mean, it was a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, they, we had a lot of fun. Like with, with even my, that was the, the season that, that, my squad participated in uh and we had a lot of fun with it for sure i mean my crew is the same way like we so my my first introduction to firewall and, and into vr was uh my brother karen karen 30 uh so he had he had got the vr and he got the playstation and he kept telling me he's like dude you gotta come over and you gotta try this 
And then he got the gun, he got a firewall. He's like, dude, he goes, you've got to come over. You've got to play this. And I remember going over there. Uh, so you you started playing February of last year. And that was, so my birthday is on the 1st of March. And so I had planned. So my wife and a friend of mine actually bought me the VR for my birthday and gave it to me a couple of weeks early. So it was February. So you and I have been playing for, for the exact same amount of time. And yeah, I remember going to my brother's place, man, and being like, and I, I, I hate keyboard and mouse shooters and like just shooters on a controller just haven't done it for me. This is the first shooter game that I'm like, this is awesome. Like this, the whole VR has just completely changed right. the, the way that we've all played games now, I think. And like I said, for me, like, it was, I got the game on accident. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was someone like she, the girl I was with at the time knew I wanted a VR and just saw the gun and thought it was cool and had no idea what it was or that it even came with a game. And I think I got a couple other games too. I got like Resident Evil, Beat Saber, Borderlands 2. And like this was the first thing I stuck in. And like I've barely put in another game since on the PlayStation. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I definitely the same way. I, I, there's other games that I picked up, smaller, like smaller games, some puzzle games and whatnot. But yeah, like not, there's not a lot of games that have really taken me away from like i mean i play rock league that's about that's about the only other things that i actually play my time is split up between firewall rocket league and ahc my wife is somewhere in the middle there so don't worry <laughs> so going so season two you guys did really well all right we had a good turnout season two yeah. all right so looking at your roster here okay so now here's where you can uh upset your team Okay, I'm giving you a chance to throw your team under the bus here, or some members of your I team. I love it. All right, so there's 40 ounce Frank, Tie Die Tiger, End Zone, Hank Hippotamus, Nickelwatt, Pistol Pack, and Pete. Okay, so you got four members that you got to pick. Okay, who's your who's your who's your A team from this season? From the, season two. It's no question. It's gonna be. Me, this is this was our starting lineup. This is what we ran. You know what I mean? It's gonna be Frankie running the point with Nickawat, end zone, and me. You know what I mean? Like hands down, like that's the, that's the squad, bro. That's what we brought. And uh, you know, the other Ty, awesome player. Uh, she played in a few matches for us that season. Pistol, uh, he didn't really. I don't even think he played in a match at all that season. He had some other stuff going on, and he was still on the roster, and he didn't play. He's one of the best players you'll ever play with, too. You know what I mean? He just plays pubs. He never really got into the tournament stuff as much. But I felt like with that with that lineup that season, we were competitive against everybody. It's hard to crack into those top three teams. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. goons, goons. Uh, I remember our first match was against Chicken Noodle. And, like, I, dude, I wasn't – I was playing terrible leading into that first match. And, like, to the point where I was just like – Ty, you take my spot. Like, I'm, I'm playing terrible. Like, I can't even – I'm not even competitive. You know what I mean? So, we uh, – those th those top couple teams there that we had trouble with, you know what I mean? But we had a uh, we had a really good run with those four. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and interesting, as I say that, because we – those – two of those players went on to play for another team the next season, and then four of us went on to, like, make some changes and, like, set up a team for the next season as well, where I think we actually did a little bit better – in season three. So on your, so your season two uh, A team here, Frank, Endzone, Nick, and yourself. So you you got we got we're gonna give four categories, you gotta place them, okay? Okay. Your best shots. Who's your best shooter? Best shooter on your best support team. player. Okay. Your best all around player and your best comms. And you could and if all, each person gets a category, who who gets what? Okay. Uh, best all-around player, Nick what, in my opinion, on this team, as far as just overall. Uh, there's not really anything he's bad at, uh, you know, as a firewall player, and he's only gotten better since then. 40-ounce Frank, best shot, and just overall leader, team leader in this, in this situation. Uh, end zone, total wild card. Uh, one of the best rushers in the game, one of the best shots in the game, one of the biggest shit talkers in the game, uh, one of the funnest people to play with in the game. You can't really put that guy in a category. He, uh, 
he's just a fucking hurricane. You know what I mean? You never know what you're going to get. I can't tell you how many matches he ran off. And we said, Enzo, don't go, don't go, don't go. And we'll just run off and just wipe the whole team. You know what I mean? On defense. So uh, end zone, best, probably one of the best rushers in the game. And then as far as being a support player, I think that's really my role. You know what I mean? Uh, on this team was wherever I needed to be, whether it's taking a jammer, whether it's uh, holding the laptop, whether whatever it is, like, I feel like that's where I could kind of work into any role that I need to be as far as a support player to play to the strengths of the other players on the team. You know what I mean? Because I was always, no matter what, in any situation that we were in, the least experienced player on the team. Yeah. So, like, I kind of, like, had to work my own role into it. You know what I mean? Which worked yeah. out well for us. Yeah, no, for, like, a, a support player is – is your support on all-around players are going are gonna to be your key at the end of the day. Uh, so, as far as comms, like, in communication – like oh, somebody do, do the call us. Other, if I say any other name, I'll never hear the end of it. It's Nick or what on comms. Nick getting the Nick's getting he the comms runs, award. He runs the eagle eye. You know what I mean? That's his. That's his thing. You know what I mean? He he prides himself on comms. I'll say best comms, Nick or what. Worst comms, Hankopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, as, as long as you know your strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, bro, for sure. Not that they're bad, but out of this group, I would say that. Uh... So Nick's saying uh, Enzone has great comms. So we didn't give Enzone. You didn't give Enzone the category since you gave Nick the best all-around player. I think we're gonna have to default think, Enzone for the for the comms. And, I think him and Nick are uh, head and head for best comms. Yeah. All right. Enzone gets one best rusher. Best rusher was it wasn't really a category we were looking for. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We're, we're, comms, we're making one. We're making one. Um, so okay. So now heading into season three. So you guys had a, a little bit of a, a roster change heading into season three. So we had, you, a, we had another roster change during the season as well. During the season as well. Yep. 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 All right. So you had originally you had. Frank, Lion Z, yourself, Nick, uh, Pistol Pack and Pete, and Cougar Hunter. Yeah, so Ty and Endzone decided that they were going to play with Need 3 that season, and uh, which we were cool with. You know what I mean? Like, we kind of, that was something that they had decided on, and that we decided that we wanted to keep Meat Pack going. And uh, so we kind of, the, the Lion Z edition was was fucking that was that was awesome man that was a lot of fun that kind of came out of left field we really were just we were looking for a player and we had put thrown a lot of players out there as far as who we wanted to add and the lines thing was kind of like a last minute hail mary like none of us had really played with him that much other than frank and uh we wanted someone that could kind of mimic what end zone brought to our team as far as like being a really good rusher, being a really good shooter, having a, a lot of experience. Like, Enzone was probably the most experienced player on the team. So, for me, I feel like Linesy was a natural fit to try to find someone that was going to, like, rep replicate what Enzone brought to the table. You know what I mean? So, I think Frank just kind of shot him a PlayStation message and told him, like, hey, come, you want to come play in the North American League with our team a couple weeks before the season? And uh, he, was just all, he was all over it. You know what I mean? He was all over it. And uh, that was a lot of fun, man. That was a lot of fun that season. He's a riot to play the game with. And uh, it was cool to see, because him, you know, anyone that plays with that guy in Publix knows that, like, he's rushing right at you, and he's coming with a full squad, and, like, that's just the way they play. So to kind of bring him into, like, that tournament play style and, like, him kind of adapt into that was a lot of fun for us. So season three... Um, you guys made it in the playoffs again. First round, you guys had resistance, which uh, you took. Uh, and then need three against Top Gun. Need three comes up, so now you've got a now you've you're playing against your former teammate. Um, what, what were your guys' thoughts going into that match? Were you were you looking to were you looking to make a statement? I feel like we can't talk about the need three match until we talk about the resistance match. Okay, okay. What, what do you got for the resistance match? In my opinion, and this is, this is in my opinion, 
resistance match is the best tournament match a firewall ever played. Okay, and what's your what's your evidence? Okay, so well, first of all, we had another player on the team. We had Cougar Hunter on the team at the beginning of the season. Uh, he played a match for us and decided he was going to play, go a different. I think he was doing some stuff with age commentary and doing some other stuff and decided he wasn't going to play. So we added Nutberry Crunch. He played out that season with us. And we went into that resistance match uh, pretty confident. We had played a variation of that team both seasons, multiple. We played them multiple times and won that match. But they, they were a lot better this season. And uh, – we came out. One of our things with this team is we would we came out to a slow start all the time. Like it was just part of the, uh, it was just a lot, a lot of matches we played. We came out and lost the first two or three rounds that season, and we played from behind a lot, way more than we would like to. And this match, we I think we started out the first six matches down one to five, so we were we had won one and lost five. And then we went into the next two rounds down seven to two. And so we were down first to 11, down two to seven, and won out every single round for the rest of that entire match to finish 11 to seven. So I think that that was probably the best comeback in that, that tournament fire history. You'll forgive me because I don't remember a lot of games because I, I see, I, I see hundreds of games. It feels like so sometimes it's hard to remember specific, uh, specific games. So you'll forgive me if I don't quite remember. I don't even know if I even casted that one. I might not have been there. Who knows? Well, we it was definitely an age commentary. We, we would have definitely casted it for sure. So I, just... I actually think that for that one, uh, I was talking to the guys that play on the team, and we were coming up trying to come up with something. You would ask me about like some pictures or any content or anything like that that we had for uh, the to do for this like this little talk thing that you wanted to do about talking about the teams. And Nick put together like a reaction video, I think, of like the end of each round from that match, where it's just like a little couple seconds clips from like the end of each round of like being down real bad and then like coming back. And I think that he put together a little video of that that I sent to you. So I think that that'd be cool if we got time to like. I think it's like yeah, a so video. so I've got that video up here. Yeah. So Nick uh, had went and uh, made a movie. Uh, he wrote, directed an entire fucking film. Uh, and then we asked him to <laughs> cut it down from about an hour and a half uh, for part one. He was going for he was trying to be out Lord of the Rings, I think. Uh, and we told him that to chop it down. So it, it, it came down to about four minutes, I think. <laughs> So I do have that. If I think wanted. it's pretty funny. It's pretty cool if you guys want to watch it. So we can take a look here. What are you doing? Now his guard is up. Only fire. <laughs> Only fire. When I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Two hours of footage. Be better. <laughs> People are commentating on this, bro. This, Chill this the is, fuck out. This is how it's it like... goes off the rails, right off the. It's us. It's always us. Yeah, we're always tearing each other's heads off. You guys ready? Let's, right. let's do this. Ready? <laughs> the right side. Yeah, there he is. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's go. One. One of eleven. Do funk. Oh my god, bro. Nah. That's alright. That's alright. Oh, oh fuck. Wow. Yeah. Nah, I just hate when the grenades blow up in your face. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh. We were defeated. Damn, early on this one. Let's go. I just lost two of you. It's no one wants to watch me lose. <laughs> Say, fuck it, we gotta swap hosts anyway. Where is he? He's right on the oh, stairs, center of the stairs. He's red as fuck. Good shit. Down one of the Let's fucking have him. Why is he? Yo, meat pack comeback. Let's do it, I put the reins on lions. Yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck it out, guys. Yeah. Oh, you're staying? Go, 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 go! You're smoke. Oh, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, bro. They're firing like crazy. Go. Go, go, throw them up smoke. Oh, I fucking hit Hank with it. Yep. Nikki, take the guy yeah. on the right. Lions, aim for the guy on the left of the toolbox. Nikki, you okay. got to engage first. Let lions go second. What? 
Got him on the guy on the right. Hit the guy on the right. Yes, yes, got him yes Nick. Now yes. you gotta push the guy on the on the toolbox. Both of you from both sides together. Hold on. All right. Oh. Down. Go. Eh. You gotta hit that fucker. Get down, baby. Don't get, you get, fucking die on me. You got Linesy? He doesn't have no. a dart for him. Look. Oh, he's tagged up. One minute. Super. Yes. 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 Uh, now we do our thing. Let's go. Shit! Don't fucking jinx us now. We go, baby. They're out. They're out. That's it. That's it. Nice. Good knee, bro. Good oh, knee, a little bro. grenade bounce over there. Nice. Oh, so sick, dude. I'm down. I'm done. Oh, There's one more outside the room to the left. To the right. 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 <laughs> there you go, boys. Six, six, seven. Yeah, six, six, seven, boys. Oh. I'm gonna stay here because Nick's gonna shoot him when he comes out. He's coming out. I got him. Good shit. Let's go. Good shit. Seven, seven. Seven, seven. <laughs> seven, seven. Another one there, Lonzy. Get, get, get up. Get up, Hank. Can you shut that door? <laughs> yeah. What is Lonzy number one? Yeah, that was the inside <laughs> joke he had because he was uh, kept closing his doors to keep me and surviving me closing the door. And I, and I said, Lonzy, you're a monster on these doors. You know what? That clip right there, that clip right there, I, I, rem I remember that. One more dub, boys. Look at me. I am the captain. Look at the captain. Don't ever see me, Captain! Jesus Christ, guys. We're in, we're in! Good shit. Nick, 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 Nick. One more straight ahead of Hanky. Beautiful. That's Let's it, go. boys. Nice match, fellas. Nice Very well fun. done, boys. Shit, Very well done. I fucking love y'all. Yeah, we're going up now, boys. That was eight, nine in a row? Nine in a row. Yeah, gone, bro. I stopped the stream! Stop the stream! Stop the stream! Stop the fucking stream, bro! Solid, dude. Absolutely solid. Yeah, man. So that was for us. That was uh that was that was probably the, the best, most fun match of fireball I had ever played. You know what I mean? And uh, going into that, uh, you know, going into that into the final, we had gotten wiped by uh, by need three in the regular season and there was kind of like a little bad blood i feel like between some people on our team and people on their team you know what i mean there was like some firewall beef there going into it and we lost that one uh we had a competitive match with them but we ended up losing that one man but uh to go into and we didn't you were asking about us playing against players that uh played on our team previously neither of those players were like playing regularly anymore going into that part of the season. And uh, so we didn't end up playing against the players that were on our team, but we did, uh, we did have a, we did have a competitive match with them. And that was the furthest that we had made it. We were, we were happy with that, man. We had made it to the finals, you know what I mean? To the final yeah. four. And that was a good finish for us, man. No, for sure. It's definitely a finish that you can be proud of for sure. Um, so yeah. So, I heard, did you, did I hear that you guys or some members of Meat Pack are doing a team in Pro League this season? We kind of, sort of. So I think that, so as far as like players that are like in our, we played at the game, we played in the uh, stream with the uh, first contact guys for Firewall Friday tonight. And that was kind of our starting lineup for Meat Pack. We did, uh, we did me, Nick, Frank, and Lionsy. Pretty much that was our starting lineup in season three. And so we did a stream a couple weeks ago on my Twitch uh, where we kind of did like a reunion and everybody came out and hung out where we just smashed pubs and uh, did that for a little bit. And then we decided that we would bring that team back to play against the uh, developers in the FCE stream. And so like, I don't know, they kicked foreigners out of the North American League 
So that was yeah. uh, that had something to do with like our team not playing in that league this season. And then Frankie just kind of got into a different game, and he's been real heavy into that, uh, playing Hunt Showdown. And uh, so if you want to check that out, you can go to his Twitch and check that out. Uh, and then me and Nick, we just kind of – Nick got picked up to play as a sub for Crim Brulee this Crim Brulee. season. Yep. And which is huge because for me, honestly, because I didn't really know any of those guys. Uh, like I never really hung out with them, played firewall with them or anything before this season. And so that's been really cool. Cause like Vong shout out to Vong. He got, Vong, me, yeah. he got Vong, me streaming. You know what Vong I mean? is probably hang, hands down. Like one of the, one of the greatest dudes in the community. Oh bro. Like, so we, Nick got picked up by them, and we started playing pubs with those guys. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, that was right around the time at the beginning of the season when I decided I was going to build a computer, and I decided I wanted to get my own stream going, and I decided that, you know, I wanted to start messing around with creating some content myself, which I'd never done before. And Vong literally, like, would screen share with me on Discord for hours, for, for hours, bro. Like we would sit on. Sorry, hours. I don't mean to laugh, but I just I'm picturing. I, so like it's funny because when Vong started streaming, you did that for him. I did that for him, so it was just funny that you know I I kind of I kind of taught Vong how to how to set up the stream and everything went through everything with him, and then he's like, oh yeah, Hank, don't worry, I got you, bro. And he's just oh, he's bro. just so just he would sit with me and teach me how to use OBS and teach me how to. Uh, set up overlays and teach me how to do that stuff for hours. You know what I mean? And uh, so shout out to Vong just for being uh, definitely one of the best dudes in the community. Uh, I feel like he puts up one of the best firewall streams and uh, he's become one of my, you know, just like the meat pack guys. I talk to him regularly outside of firewall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it really worked out great that, uh, Frank or that Nick ended up playing with those guys this season. And then I've been, I kind of been playing a little bit as a sub, just playing with uh, uh, Chronic Mastigators. I only played a couple matches with them this season, but I just wanted some, you know, a spot where, you know, if I was needed, I could come in and play. And uh, it's just one of those things where those are all great guys too. Shout out to everybody over there uh, at Chronic Mastigators, uh, Joe Magic, El Candor, uh, BJR uh lizard those are all great guys and uh so getting to know those guys really well too it kind of worked out great because i've met a lot more people and been playing with a lot more people this season but uh you know that's been that was just kind of where we shook out for this season you know what i mean and uh it sucks but but you were talking about the pro league so yeah a couple of us have me and nick which if, if you see me playing firewall you probably see me with nick we still play together all the time yeah, me, me and Nick actually, we've been trying to hook up to play some games, but it just it's it's been tough. We've been having some issues getting on at the same time. But uh, one day, Nick, you and I will we'll we'll, we'll we'll get it sorted out, man. We, uh, we will actually play. <laughs> so that is something that we yeah, we're looking to do this season. We're gonna have a lot of fun with. I think we got ten or eleven guys that we. We're kind of doing a mashup team with the guys from Rain that won it last season. You know what I mean? And yep. uh, so we kind of got a little thing going with them, with Rogues, with Chuckamus Prime, me, Nick, uh, and a bunch of those guys, man. And uh, we're looking forward to that because uh, we've never played in the Pro League. And, you know, who knows? Maybe that's somewhere we could get the meat pack. I'm not sure what the uh, rules are for the different leagues and foreigners and stuff like that, but we definitely would so like to find for pro league you're allowed one so you're allowed as as many uh foreigners on your team as you like but you can only have one playing uh per match at any given time so so maybe that's somewhere we could you know we've been talking about getting the meat pack back together as it is you know what i mean and not making any changes to it uh for you know getting back into some com competitive play and that's probably somewhere i could see us finding a home you know what i mean uh We'll be maybe playing over in the pro league with the recent changes to the rules in the North American league. Yeah, no, the the pro league side is like I, I've played in, in both pro league are, are solid, man. They're, they're they're wonderful. Like this season, looking at some of the rosters because like the season locks on the twenty fifth, so Sunday is actually the cutoff for for the teams. And I was looking at it today, and I was like, man, we've got some some new teams this season. 
and some teams that were part of North American Firewall League in previous seasons. So the competition is definitely starting to step up. So yeah, it's it's gonna be it's not gonna be as easy. Um, I I don't think we're gonna pull off a second a second place victory this season, <laughs> especially when I'm not playing anywhere as much as I used to. We're looking forward to that, uh, you know. And so like I was talking a little bit about getting with Vaughn, getting with you specifically, Titch, like. That's another thing is Vaughn kind of put me on to you uh, as far as bringing you over to help me work out some like kinks that I was having with my stream. Because once you start streaming firewall from your PlayStation, like through your computer, there's kind of like some audio hurdles you got to get yeah. over. And there's some uh, definitely some stuff that I wasn't I didn't know anything about. You know what I mean? So and there's some audio hurdles that you just can't get around. Right, right, like right, right. That The fact that you can't get. Like you have to have effectively two mics, is is annoying. Oh, for sure. So and Bong helped me kind of get over that a little bit too. So that was something that I don't know. It was kind of like uh, my mid coronavirus crisis. You know what I mean? Where I needed something to do. Yeah. And I started like getting into building a computer, and uh, you know I wanted to get into not just streaming firewall, but like getting into doing stuff like this and getting involved with all different types of like content creation and stuff like that. Uh, so that's kind of what I've been, my focus has been a little bit less on like, whereas the last two seasons I was focused on competitive playing like with my team, like with Meepack this season and like this time around, not so much playing in the tournaments, but kind of focused on doing my own thing. You know what I mean? With my Hankopotamus gaming Twitch and like with putting together some fun streams on Sundays that like a lot of people have like really been, uh, you know, taken to, you know what I mean? I think I've only been doing that for a few weeks and it's just cool to see like the whole community come out and like support that and sub and follow and, you know, just come want to hang out in the stream. So uh, that's been something new for me that, uh, like I said, you and Vaughn kind of walked me through the first couple the first month or so, you know what I mean? So that's kind of what I've been doing, uh, especially with Firewall here lately. Yeah, so if anybody's interested in checking out Hank, there's uh, the link there in the chat. So make sure you go give him a follow. Uh, so prior to streaming, like, what, what was your thoughts on streaming? Like, prior to getting into that, like, are you, are you trying to stay up to date with computers? And, like, has it, like, has building your computer sort of given you this, like, uh, well, sort of a different thing to kind of look into? Let me tell you, I started out with this computer build saying like that I had like an eleven, twelve hundred dollar budget or something like that. You know what I mean? And I just wanted to build a rig where I could like effectively like run a quality stream and like play a game with like decent settings. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the more I got into it and the more research I did and like the more I realized like, oh, I need this and I need to upgrade this. And now I'm streaming. So I need this microphone. I need this camera. I need these lights. You know what I mean? Bro, it's literally like, like I said, it's like my mid coronavirus crisis. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. something that I've gotten. And I didn't know, bro, I didn't even know what a graphics card was three months ago. You know what I mean? Prior so, to seeing my computer, did you know you could even liquid cool one? <laughs> not, not, I knew before that, but not very long before that. You know? Yeah. And uh, so that's something that I didn't know the first thing about uh, that I've really gotten into like the tech a lot more and gotten into, uh, just that type of connection, you know what I mean? Which, like I said, that's another thing for me that came from North American Firewall League, essentially, because I had never even logged into Twitch before I did that to start watching the matches. So that was just another thing that kind of the, the seed got planted. Uh, Frank always streamed our matches, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I never messed with it that much. And so that's something that I don't know. I didn't know how if it was gonna take or how well it was gonna land, like with people wanting to come out and watch stuff and support and stuff like that. But it's been kind of overwhelming the amount of people that have just really, really wanted to like get involved with that with me. So that's been great, and it's all been kind of centered around the firewall community for sure. Yeah, no, the the firewall community really bands together, especially like with uh, smaller channels. Uh, like with yours, and um, I remember like my getting my brothers. Um, I know a, a bunch of people helped me get my to affiliate. Um, I mean, I've been streaming for a while, but I was always just under that mark. And I, I when I started streaming, I was streaming um, 
like all the StarCraft 2. I used to play uh, I used to play StarCraft 2 back in the day, so that was sort of where I started streaming from. And yeah, so like I'm bouncing around from different games, it's kind of hard to maintain a specific audience. So it wasn't until I really fell into the Firewall community and it kind of came, became more like my main game that uh, that my my channel started to grow. But yeah, it's you find a niche market like this and it's it's amazing what the the community can band together i, I bet you karen's got accredited like 60 accounts in affiliate probably how many how many founder subs do you think she has uh, god all of them yeah no doubt so she's a founder sub on mine as well she's been super supportive and uh you know it's just a cool little outlet for me uh you know i like i said i've heard the last three years, like, I mean, I don't drink anymore. I don't drink a drop. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't, you know, nothing like, so well, I sit here uh, and drink my whiskey. And yeah. Was just, that's just me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's something I struggled with for a long time. And so, like I was saying something early on when I first got into like that type of like recovery and stuff like that, I also kind of was getting into firewall. So like, that's been something that's like kind of helped me your yeah. escape. Oh, for sure, dude. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's awesome, man. It's been a big part of, uh, you know my personal life and like i said it's just kind of led me into some stuff that i never really saw myself getting involved with and it's kind of just become like a through firewall like a new little creative outlet for me to kind of just hang out with my buddies and you know do cool shit so um uh, i can if you don't want to really talk well, you, you've kind of sort of brought this up but like your your sort of what your history was sort of like so i just want to ask like so let's go back like a year and a half, two years ago. Like, did you ever pitch yourself being where you are? Like sitting here right now with me. Like, bro, was this? Bro, let me tell you right now. I, three years ago, I was uh, homeless, 100 pounds lighter, uh, in and out of jail, uh, in and out of treatment centers. You know what I mean? Like addicted to crack, heroin, everything. You know what I mean? So like for me, like, sitting here like talking about video games like and like where I'm at right now and like the things that I'm doing like just through playing video games like and hanging out with my friends no dude like I said it's 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 crazy I can't it's That's hard a... I can't really talk about where I am and like the things that I do like in my personal life whether yeah, no. it's, it's video games or stuff like that without it kind of like mirroring like where what I do with recovery because it's just all one and the same for me you know what I mean and it's not something that gets brought up a lot so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I didn't really know yeah. prior to this. So, but man, it's that's amazing, dude. Congratulations, and keep that shit up, dude. But uh, yeah, so now and then now I even got people like that I grew up with, or that maybe grew up in the same town as me, or that maybe uh, you know, I knew when I was younger that are into this stuff now too. You know what I mean? That I'm getting to kind of network a lot with them, and uh, you know see that side of it too so uh i'm just getting to i just build a lot of relationships and it all for me it all started through firewall man and it continues to kind of like be centered around this game and uh vr overall was something and it's not just firewall but i think just vr and like shooter vr games in general i'm about to get into some of the quest stuff and uh you know it's all like i said it kind of all started right here just i i've been looking at the quest i i are you getting the quest too? Is that what you're looking at? Uh, I literally, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna go get one tomorrow. I, I'm gonna run over to Micro Center and get one, man. I wish I had a Micro Center. They're not in Canada. It's disappointing. Oh, dude, you wanna you wanna lose all your money? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, okay, so kind of weird off the topic thing, but going yeah. back to, um, so when I was building my computer, like, I've got the custom Liquid Loop, right? So I had to manually bend all my tubes and like every connection you have to have a fitting for and stuff like trying to get liquid cooling like fittings and and pieces in Canada. It's like thirty dollars for the fitting and it's like twenty nine dollars to ship from Germany. I'm like, I need eleven fittings. I'm not spending four hundred dollars on fittings, you know what I mean? Like right. it was incredible. And like and then like I I watch like Jay's two cents uh, on YouTube and stuff like that for a lot, a lot of my tech stuff. And I don't know if you, if you looked at, or if, if you did, uh, if you looked at any, uh, any YouTube videos or any kind of tech YouTubers before building your computer or not. Uh, but yeah, they're like, yeah, micro center got all these fittings. I just went down to my local micro center and I got these quarter G quarter thread 
16 mil fittings. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let me tell you. So I, like I said, I didn't know anything about building computers or anything like that. And I literally found a kid on Facebook marketplace that he was just the fucking kid like building computers. You know what I mean? And yeah. he's like, he's like, let's go to micro center and pick out all the stuff for your computer and let me build it for you. You know what I mean? So I literally met a kid that like was like 20 years old that built my computer for me. And like, we built kind of built it together essentially. You know what I mean? And, uh, just, spent a couple weeks trying to figure out what it was I wanted and I've made a few upgrades to it since then. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, dude. So I didn't know, I didn't know what, what a motherboard was. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And yeah. like I, I did, uh, I know you stopped in, but I did a stream, uh, of me, uh, helping a Karen build his. And this is the same way I, I went out and I went through, I picked all his parts and I said to him, I said, here's everything. I asked for the basics. I'm like, what do you want for a, uh, you know, a color or some sort of scheme. I uh, picked everything out for him. He pawed everything, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna walk you through it. But you're, you're gonna do it because it's then it, it's yours. You know what I mean? Like you help build that thing, and it's just, right. that, it means a little bit more to you. So I think it was pretty cool. Um, is there anything else that uh, that you wanted to talk about in specific? Oh, uh, see. Uh... No, I think we kind of covered a lot of things, man. Uh, you know, so for you, like, let's talk a little bit about that. Like, uh, you know, obviously, I tuned into you got your guys' stream, the, the anniversary stream, uh, the other night, and where it was your one year anniversary for putting together Amateur Hour, and you guys kind of showed a lot of like the back story of like a lot of the work that you guys put into this channel and like this stream like early on and uh so like for you like did that that all came from stemmed from firewall play as well right oh uh, yeah through the game and everything that you guys have kind of put together you know is kind of the same for you right were you so, streaming before firewall so i like i said i was streaming before firewall um i was streaming like i said i, I was at the time I started, when I started streaming, I was doing StarCraft II. Um, and uh, in, I don't know if, you, if you're familiar with StarCraft or not, but it's like an RTS strategy game. So similar to like um, like a Command and Conquer style, you know, build a base kind of deal. A very fast pace and whatnot. Uh, so that's where I started streaming. And then I started uh, picking up just other games and, bouncing around and eventually uh i started streaming on the playstation uh and then when i got into firewall from going to my brother's place and trying it um that's when i got the vr and then now i've sort of moved into the vr scene so i would say ahc kind of like with me and wolf's team um uh, that actually gets accredited to nightfall like Rip. Yeah, so which was the biggest dumpster fire? <laughs> exactly. So, but at that time, so early on, there was very few of us that were streaming Firewall. Like there was a lot of us playing back then, right? Um, not like there is now. Anyway, like now I go on to like I remember there was days where you'd go and there'd be like nobody streaming Firewall at all, and there you'd be like there'd be like two people at any given point that were streaming Firewall, and so Wolf and I were were both one of the fewer streamers at the time that were streaming. And when Nightfall hit, it dropped off dramatically. And I was doing what I used to call lobby streams, where it would literally, it, I'd be streaming a lobby for like two hours, and me and the guys just trying to get into a lobby. And at this time, Wolf and I were, like, I'd be in his chat, and we'd be talking, he'd come into my stream, and we'd be talking. And then, because, and at that time, JJ was playing, but half of his all of his people that he knew they all left after firewall got broke for that so it was me jj uh wolf and my brother karen at the time that we used to party up and we used to that's where the whole baby shark thing comes from um if you've ever heard jj mention baby shark it was this weird little ritual that we had uh if we sung baby shark as we queued up we ended up in a lobby it just every single time we did it it worked so, and that's sort of where Wolf and I started, started hanging out and started talking. And then, yeah, he, he was familiar with the North American Firewall League. I didn't really know anything about it. 
Um, and so then it was, it was sort of at that point of just me joking around with him. And we just sort of had that kind of opposite connection where he's the very straight and narrow. And I'm the person that makes fun of everybody and pisses people off. You know what I mean? Like we have right. to, <laughs> so that's sort of what started. If it wasn't for nightfall, I, yeah, I don't know if this whole thing would have necessarily, it all stemmed from nightfall, just awesome. creating that, that friendship between Wolf and I. So that's yeah. Awesome. So. So that was kind of a, a weird little thing that, yeah, if we were to go back, that's sort of where that comes from. It's weird. Well, you guys do a lot for the firewall community and like, not just through the uh, streams and stuff like that, but like I was talking about, like you, you and Wolf were one of the like first few people that really kind of helped me. Like, you know, y'all guys are hosting up my first few streams. You guys are coming through and like nitpicking my audio and getting all my stuff right on my stream for me. And I know you do that for a lot of guys that are getting into streaming. So that's huge, man. We need people like that in the community. You know what I mean? Uh, so hats right. off to you guys, man, just for kind of holding down the whole community. Uh, and who knows? Like, this game isn't going to last forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, it's cool to see the work that the developers are doing still in, like, the same VR realm, whether it's, like, with Solaris or with making uh, – keeping this game relevant as far as the updates and as far as the seasons, uh, it's just cool to see, you know what I mean? Because we're, what, two and a half years into Firewall and it's still, yeah. you know, a relevant game that people love playing. So that's that was actually one of the, one of the when we were coming up with the name uh, for the commentary, when we, when we actually formed uh, AHC, um, one of the things that we set out was like, we were, I was like, we cannot in any way name it firewall or firewall like cannot have it in the name i was like a game is only going to last so long it was like we hoped we were like we hoped that this would last as long as 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 it, as it could but i'm like at the end of the day like people people jet naturally shift to other things so i was like if we're going to have a name, it, it can't be locked to something specific. It had to be free floating. And that was one of the things we've always said, like we've always wanted to move into other games. So like Elvo is something that uh, like Wolf's, uh, I don't know if you know or aware, but Wolf's been in alpha testing and done a lot of stuff uh, with Elvo. So when that, uh, which by the way, beta is coming out for that. Um, so, like, when that comes out, that's going to be something that we're definitely looking at covering. Uh, myself and Paco are big Rocket League fans. Uh, I know some people have seen me play it and have started. I think you, you, Hank, have said you've actually tried it now. Bro, it's just something that it's another one of those games that uh, a buddy has been like, hey, let me teach you how to play Rocket League. You know what I mean? And I just haven't put the time into, like, the mechanics. And it's one of those things where I'll pick it up for a little bit and then... I'm back on firewall. You know what I mean? So it's like one of those games that I want to be really good at that I'm just haven't put the time it, in. Yeah, it takes some serious time. Yeah, it, we did not play. I did I well I shouldn't say we. I, I played terribly for the game this week. Uh, I kinda let my, my team down on that one. But uh yeah, so like we we definitely want to shift. Um so yeah, we're not even if even if the everybody moves and eventually shifts to a different thing, there's always going to be leagues, fan run leagues. Uh, I'd like to think that we're going to be around for a while. And like I said, like we're, I know sometimes I'm deemed like an asshole for the shit I say, and I I have, I have lack of filter sometimes. But yeah, I mean honestly, dudes, like you need help, man. We're, we're Wolf and I are. We've we've learned a lot from doing. Uh, from doing what we've done over the last year, and you know, our our production has always we try to uh, always kind of step up production every time we redo something. Like you look at the like the original one that we had, and then we moved into the green background, then we moved into this and the transitions, and we try to always build upon what we've what we've got. And now that I'm getting a little bit more into Blender and uh, animation stuff, maybe maybe we'll have some some more transitions i just i just gotta come up with some i just i don't have the creativity to come up with anything right now for hc that's why i was doing you and your stuff i'm like dude you gotta help me because like i just i don't know what you want i don't know what to do <laughs> 
Well, yeah, dude, that's awesome. Uh, you know, it's this community needs that. And it's something, you know, that's another thing that, uh, you know, just doing this with you guys is a blast. You know what I mean? I would love to uh, come hang out with you guys again. You know what I mean? And who knows, maybe come watch a match with you or something. Yeah, you know, we always, we, we I shouldn't say always, but I mean, a lot of times if there's, uh, you know, a specific match or whatever that you want to cover, you want to do a cast appearance, man, just uh, hit one of us up and we'll see what we can do. We've had a lot of guest appearances. I, at first, everybody was like, you should get people on, you should get people on, but we're like, we, we first, we need to figure this thing out and get it to a point where it's organized. That, But yeah, we're, we're at the stage now where, like, We've got everything pretty well nailed down that, I mean, I can solo run a, a, an entire stream that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, if we, we, we want to have guest appearances now, it's it's a lot easier than it was at our, at our early stages before we, before we figured out a lot of the kinks and bugs of things. So... That's awesome. Well, I mean, yeah, unless anyone in the comments uh, in the chat has anything, you know meat pack related uh this has been awesome to get it you know not just to play with the developers tonight and get back together with the team you know what i mean but just to come back out here and like have you you know want to actually talk about some of this stuff that's like you know you you, you got a firewall squad too you know what i mean like you have spent a lot of time with those guys and uh yeah. you know they're just we love it man we fucking love it we hate that the our thing kind of fell apart for the north american league this season but I think we just decided that with the rules change and with where we were all at, it just wasn't something that we wanted to completely rebuild another team again, come back into it and just, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, uh, I mean, it's your squad, right? I mean, we're the same way. I mean, I know that I say a lot of times about, like, if you look at the amount of people I play with, and, like, and Karen can tell you, uh, with the exception of, like, Getting together with like you and Nick, because I mean I've been chatting with you guys now for for a while. I never get on and play with people, like I like your your meet is literally like Jesse Hell Rainer Act messaging. Are we scrubbing tonight? And it's like that's about the only time I'd never play randoms, and I rarely play out, out online with other people. But I I will get on with you guys for sure. We we do have to do that. Everyone broke their headsets so they didn't have to play. We will play, Nick. I promise you. We will play. That's hilarious. So <laughs> Aaron said, what would the lineup be now, including subs? So I don't know. That's pretty – I think that obviously uh, you would still have me and Nick and Frank in there. You know what I mean? And I think that other people that we're playing with right now, probably if we were to do a team right now, it would be Chuck and Miss Prime. You know what I mean? That's our kind of like our uh, new fourth that we play with so i think that if someone was to if we were to bring the team back that's who our fourth would be in the north american league this season karen if you were asking all right so I, i've got one more question for you here before we wrap it up um inside jokes every, every squad has got some something as everybody knows for us it's the goddamn it jesse and Which you actually hilarious by the way. I watched <laughs> the video for the first time. Not even just the video. I just the, the first night you got your headset back, I just popped in the stream for a little bit. And the dynamic between <laughs> that guy and y'all's team is fucking hilarious, man. It's 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 uh, just funny as hell. Yeah, so backstory on that one, because you came in at like the best time. Uh so when my headset was broken, a Karen and Jesse and Hell Ray jumped on. And so we signed up for for uh, for pro league again uh, for next season, and I I was hesitant because of my commitments with AHC. Now I'm in a Rocket League league as well, and I'm just like, oh my god, what why did I do this? Now I'm committed to like three things, and I, I had was like, I don't know, man. Maybe you guys could take goat, and I'll sub for you guys or whatever. But we were like, okay, you know what? We're just gonna do it. We'll, we'll play. The rest of the boys will play, and I'm not going to stand back and hold them back. So, okay, we play. So, his son is up, and then Jesse comes back from his road. Because he's a trucker, so he's gone for, you know, like four days at a time. So, he comes back, and he messages. We're all getting on. I Karen's streaming. I jump in the chat. And Jesse joins the party, and he's like, okay, guys. For next season, I don't want to play the same shit that we've been doing. We're going to fight. Okay, we're going to take... Titch is no longer going to be calling shit. Hellrain, I want you to do it. And everybody, and Hellrain's like, I'm not fucking doing that. I'm like, dude, you're 
you're trying to cause a fucking mutiny on me? Like, what the hell? And he's like, no, no. So that's what that was about. Like, when we came in, we're like, Jesse, you're the fucking leader now, bud. What do you want us to do? <laughs> that was hilarious. So, uh, funny inside shit for us uh, would be Nick quitting the team uh, a few times a season. Uh, that's hilarious. When Nick removes himself from the group chat and just decides that he doesn't play for me pack anymore. Uh, and it's there by the time we play our next match, he's back on the team again. Uh, so that's, that's funny. Like, uh, Nick's very strategic. You know what I mean? He's very like, or thought like he's very thought out in the way that he does things. You know what I mean? It's why he doesn't die. You know what I mean? He does. He's a really good player. Uh, and we have a tendency to just talk shit and be loud as shit. And this doesn't ever happen. Especially during the match, you know what I mean? Like just bullshit and cutting up in the match. Nick's kind of like the uh, dad of our team, you know what I mean? Like he's he's always a little bit older than we are, you know what I mean? And uh, just kind of always kind of constantly keeping us in check. And uh, or if you get an ace during a match and you start celebrating, Nick's the one to be like, no celebrating until the match is over. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's a lot of fun. And then, dude, just playing with Linesy. I mean, oh, my God, bro. That guy's a constant riot. He'll have you in tears laughing at the shit that he says and does during playing Firewall constantly, man. So uh, just getting to play with him again tonight was uh, was a blast, dude. It was a fucking blast. It definitely sounded, you guys, sounded like you guys were having a good time. Like we just, could hear a lot of laughter. <laughs> dude, it was so much fun, man. So just and then, you know, just to get back together and run through some publics and run through the developers and just, you know, remember, man, we fucking used to put it on these guys. You know what I mean? It was a lot of fun, man. We had a really good time with that. Uh but uh who knows, man, maybe you'll see us in the pro league. Maybe we'll uh come play in the North American Pro League or the European Pro League. Well, hopefully you guys join the North American Pro League and you've got two days to to organize your stuff, so Make sure you're you're in there by Sunday. Um, so I, I got one last question actually. Uh, the emote. Um, so I had asked in Forty stream. Forty had said that Lionsy hated it, but uh, I, I'm sure there was there was more to it than he just hated the emote. So Lionsy and me have always had like this back and forth about each other's internet speed. Uh, you know, because Lionsy, him being us playing all North American league with all North American players and him being like the foreigner, he would always have lag issues where he was the only one lagging, like, you know what I mean? Or the only one having problems. And, uh, to the point where we would, it almost seemed like we it, letting the other team host, we would get a better connection for some reason. Like, and I would tell him that's like, that's how shitty your internet is, bro. You know what I mean? And so whenever I approached you about making some emotes for me and making some, doing my sub badges for my channel, doing my emotes and then doing my channel rewards was something that we've been working on this week. And I had a couple different ideas that I wanted to do for my first emote. And the first one that I came up with was like, you know, I want to make fun of Lionsy. Like, <laughs> right off the, like that's yeah. like my idea. Like I would right away before first it comes to my mind is like, I want to make fun of Jesse. <laughs> yeah, dude. And, uh, it's all in good fun. We talk a lot of shit and he's bro. Lionsy can talk shit with the best of them. That dude fucking, He's a shit talker, man, and he's fucking hilarious. So I got to reveal my first emote that you made for me to the squad and to Lion Z tonight, and I will put it in the chat uh, on the stream, and it is literally Lion Z's upload speed. So hold on a second. I clicked some of the wrong ones. Let's see, just this one. This is my first emote for my channel is the Lion Z with the 835 KBS upload speed. And let me tell you right now, he was in immediate uproar whenever <laughs> I uh, put it in the chat and immediately started bashing me for my internet speed for about five minutes straight. So it did exactly what I wanted it to do, which was piss Lion Z off. Uh, and I love it, dude. So I got a couple other really good ideas that I want to do for uh, emotes for my stream. But, uh, that one was funny, man. That one was really funny because we haven't played together in a few months. And I've been messaging him all week like, bro, I got a surprise for you, man. Wait till we play for, together Friday night. I got a big surprise for you. And I don't know what the fuck he was expecting, but he was expecting like a cool surprise. And it was literally just an emote making fun of his internet speed. So <laughs> that was a lot of fun, man. That, no, that's, 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 that's shit that I love that, you know, I get to do in Firewall, man. You know what I mean? Just cutting up with your buddies. And uh, yeah. it was all in good fun, man. Seriously.
No, nah, that, that's great. No, it was, uh, you know, I, I was glad to make it for you. Like I said, I, I, like I said in Frank's stream, I'm like, Liza, well, don't, I got no bad blood with me, brother. I'm, I'm just the, I'm just the pen of the mind. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm just the person that, that works with the canvas. He so. literally went on for 10 minutes about how I was going to give him a 65 inch TV screen and then got a shitty emote out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were sitting there and he's making fun of me and he said, he said, that's why you were at a million XP whenever we started playing together. You just spent all your time in the fucking lobby waiting on it to fill. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was fucking hilarious, bro. So that was fun. And just shit like that, man, just getting able to like make shit and like, uh, just collaborate with your buddies on like making some funny shit and just putting it out there. Things that like I think's funny, you know what I mean? Whether it's something like that or something we're doing on the stream or like something we put together just for my buddies or for the community, you know what I mean? That were just kind of like little ideas before, you know, the people are really like receiving and like really getting behind and like supporting the whole stream thing. Cause I don't know, I, th I think just in the last uh, six days or something, I think I've had almost 45, like, 45 new followers or something like your that. Your stream yeah. has grown incredibly. Like, for somebody who's seen a lot of a lot of streams grow and stuff, I can tell you, man, your your growth is incredible. Yeah, and I, it's, it's something that even for a few weeks, we were just streaming on Sundays in the afternoon. Like, for a few weeks, we were just doing one stream a week, and we would just come up with something like where, hey, we're going to bring the meat pack back for this, or hey, we're just going to give something away or, hey, we're going to, uh, or when El Candor came back, you know what I mean? We vibe out really cool too. You know, we have a lot in common and like just him coming back, we're like, hey, we're going to do a fucking Candor stream. We'll just bring him back in to play with the boys. You know what I mean? Or we did one last Sunday that was me, Nick, Zamek, and Nadi, you know, like just bringing together teams to play the game that, and then not necessarily like, advertising any of it you know what i mean but just like putting it in the discord here and there just letting people know like when we're going to be playing dude it's just taking off and now you know getting into other people's streams that don't play firewall that are coming in to check out the game you know what i mean and yeah. getting support from their communities like i got guys that i grew up with who their whole communities are starting to come out and like support the firewall shit you know what i mean one of which i can i can assume yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, dude. Uh, that's yeah. another. That's another. My, uh, my. I got a buddy, Santa Slays. That he was the one that originally pushed me towards uh, to start streaming. He was the one that was literally like, "Dude, you should get your own stream going." You know what I mean? And uh, just watching the way that some people kind of interact with like their chat and stuff like that, it's been a lot of fun for me to just uh, do my own thing with that, bro. And you're like you said, the growth of it in a matter of less than two months has been wild yeah no for sure like, you should be definitely happy with you know to get affiliate and to to be where you're at uh the trick is holding it man that that's as long as you can hold the audience and everything like that you're you're golden man you're, you're absolutely golden yeah so i think my next thing now is that i want to get into playing some other games that aren't vr you know what i mean i got some other things i want to start streaming and seeing how that goes and then i got some other things that I want to do with the VR and you know what I mean outside of firewall too. And just, like I said, it's just doing the things that like, that I've you, always you will done. notice a drop. You oh, might not. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, that that's sure. one thing I've, I've noticed every time I switch a game, it's like I get people come in and, and then it's like, they don't enjoy that game or, you know, that's not something for them. And I get it, the games, my games I play are for everybody. So, but yeah, like definitely firewall is where majority of my viewer base is, and that's where I get majority of my my streams. If I go to Rocket League, I get you know I I get the the people that that are there for you know me and the stream rather than the, the game. So and that's the thing is like I you know there's some other games that like I want to get into and have like the same type of community that I have in firewall and other games and other communities. You know what I mean? Or like in other people's streams, you know what I mean? So that's cool, man. Like to be able to uh, have this type of growth in the community like this and go yeah. on, like take that and do some other shit, you know? Uh, next Sunday, strip stream drop one article per loss. I'm telling you, man, we come up with some wild shit. That, that That's probably uh, on the list of uh, things that uh, Nick okay. would love to do. I was just about to say, <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, 
All right. Um, so if, if anybody's got any other questions in chat uh, for either myself or Hank, I think most of the chat right now is currently meat pack. So <laughs> I'm assuming they don't have meat pack related questions. Yeah, unless, man. Unless Karen has got it. Guys, shout out to Frank, Nick of what, uh, and just all those dudes, Lionsy, Vong, man, Vong 860, uh, all those guys, bro. They've been, uh, we've gotten, some, we've done some cool shit the last couple months with Firewall, bro. So I couldn't be any happier with it. Uh, why is Hank such a beast? <laughs> From 40 ounce Frank. Oh my God. It's why the magic it? of the beard. Yeah, it's just the beard, bro. I, I channel the energy through the beard. Yeah, when you can't grow a beard, Frank, you just might as well give up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, this has been a blast, man. I love the, you know, we've we've done we've kind of done a lot of little collaborating on stuff, whether it be with the stuff for my channel, the emotes, the uh, sub notification, the badges, uh, you know, just streaming shit in general. So I appreciate you always just looking to fucking do some creating with me. It's fucking been really cool, man. Yeah, no, it was. You know, I'm kind of glad you got to see a little bit of the, the stuff yesterday. And I, I, I really hope that the you took the joking for what it was. Oh yeah. Yesterday about having to read you all the shit. Yeah. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, like I said, I it's, it's just funny, man. It's just I do the same thing with Paco and and uh, and Wolf, and they're the same way. I'll be like, guys, I made this thing. And I'll, I'll send it to them, and I'll drop it in Discord. And they watch it, and they literally they go, that's great. We love it. However, can you literally delete everything you've just done and then do Start it this way? Start over from scratch? Like, literally. Like, just the, the, the foundation is good, but literally take out everything else and then, like, just redo it this way. And I'm just like like, four or five hours of work just absolutely wasted. I'm like, why bother? <laughs> but, no, like, you're... you're you know, I, and it's yours, and I, I understand that, you know, you want to go through it, so I, I, I hope you didn't take any of that shit to be serious. It was, yeah, I, I don't mind. It was four hours, but you know what? I, I didn't care. I was going to do nothing anyway. Dude, Frank is, uh, Nick's asking about the loadout, and that's because he knows my loadout almost never changes. That is I, that's a a classic red K8 with the red dot, with frags. With a motion sensor, with Iceman, with heavy duty, or double time. That's the loadout, that's, bro. That's, that's pretty much what I run. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. pretty much I like going the frags. Uh, it, you know, you were asking about, like, who's the best at what. That's definitely one of my best categories. I think I'm an a artist when it comes to throwing the frags, bro. So that's uh, I love that shit. And that's why Frank's making fun of me for it. He said frags. Anything with frags. <laughs> <laughs> Anything with frags. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I would say I, you and I seem to be very, very similar players. I'm, I'm the same way with, with my group. I'm, I'm like, I see where they are, and like they'll, they see me looking in a completely direction. They're like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Hold on!" It like bounces off like fourth. Like you just see the trajectory, and just next thing you know, I got a double kill with grenades, and I'm just like, "Eat it, boys." <laughs> but we uh. We uh, we had a lot of fun with that, bro. And it's one of those things where I will never, I don't have the most XP. I'm not one of the top players, nothing like that, bro. But I, we have an awesome team, bro, of guys that we play with and we mesh well together. And I think we can go in there and be competitive with anybody we play with. You know what I mean? And that's really yeah. what it's all about is just playing the game and playing it competitively. So uh, I love that shit, man. And I love kind of what it's evolved into with, uh, with the stream and with the content and with what we're doing now. And it's only stuff that I want to, I've got like all these ideas of things that I want to do that, you know, don't involve firewall, but you know, like I said, it just kind of, this is kind of the foundation of everything I'm doing with anything with technology now kind of started with firewall, you know? So it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, so um, th I think 40 or Nick put a thing up about don't be, uh, don't be sorry, be good or something like that was a quote. That's the motto, bro. That's we the motto. So all, we used to say it all the time. If you, you if you if you fuck something up in the in the round or you fuck something up in the tournament match and you say I'm sorry, that that was it. Don't be sorry. Just fucking be better. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be sorry. Be better. Yeah. yeah be sorry. So be better. my motto is a little bit different. Um, I, you know, you I don't know if you've seen any of our unhinged streams, but uh, I I think that a lot of the 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 beef that 
animosity between people is just fucking stupid. I, I've been pretty vocal with that. So my motto is, be good, don't be a cunt. Like, that's that, that's my motto. Be good, don't be a cunt. <laughs> you see a lot of that with this community, you know what I mean? And it's unfortunate, you know what I mean? But that's something that I just stay out of completely, bro. And anyone that yeah. plays with me knows that, like, you know, I'm not getting into any of that stuff. Uh, as far as... Come out and play the game and have fun, bro. And that's what we do. As far as AHC goes, I enjoy those things because it's... Oh, it's a riot. I, oh, you, pe- you guys keep doing it. I'll fucking... Oh. I'll as far as the streams, people day, people are, people will turn tune in and watch. I like it because half the time it's just me making fun of both sides, and right. it's not it's nothing against the players themselves. It's just the whole animosity and people trying to one up each other is just stupid to me. It's a game, boys. Just get along, everybody. Get along. Play some games. Shoot some people. Show some love. Be good. Don't be a cunt. <laughs> that's my. That's right, bro. Well, uh, I look forward to doing this again sometime, man. And uh, let's watch it. Let's do a match together sometime or something. And you for know, sure, you're you're another one of those guys that's it's become a thing where like you know we're fucking chatting it up, not on firewall now at this point. You know what I mean? So you're just another one of those guys, bro, that I talk to on a regular basis. And I uh, appreciate everything you've done to help me out with my stream and with all my shit and with just holding up the community. You guys really are a pillar as far as like bringing the matches and bringing like the really competitive I'm, what was it like you had the two european teams lines and those guys and yeah those, those guys i mean you had guys had 70 people in the lobby so, yeah it was it was an, our average was like yeah it was over 70 not the average but yeah we had over 70 people <laughs> at one point i think it was up to 74 um but our average was absolutely crazy uh titch is a hologram am i really shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so dude. well uh let's do yeah. it again sometime man and i look yeah. forward to seeing you do this with uh other you know guys from the community that want to come on here and just talk a little bit about the game and talk a little bit about uh you know their squad and you know playing the game i love that shit i love you know uh playing with other teams and you know learning a little bit more about the other teams so i hope that this segment uh lands well with the community and you guys get to do this again yeah, I hope so too. And I, I want to thank you, Hank, for like as soon as I asked you, I was like, "Yo, like I got an idea for the segment," and I kind of threw it at you. You were like, "Done." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> uh, how's Friday? Because that's the type of shit I'm into now. You know what I mean? Like this is the type of shit I do for fun and like getting in, getting into the content stuff and getting into just talking and being, you know. It's weird because, like, I wasn't even comfortable sitting here talking like this a few weeks ago. And you get into doing the stream and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And I got to where I really enjoy it and just uh, interacting with people in the community, bro. And I think you guys do a good job with all this stuff. And I get behind behind anything you guys are putting out. So appreciate you having me. Nah, man. Thanks a lot. And, yeah, if anybody else is interested in in doing this, uh, you know, shoot me a message. Let me know. Uh, we'll, We'll work something out. And... Yeah, I definitely like to to do more more of this stuff. Is you know learn a bit more about the teams, a little background, and some of the things you don't necessarily hear, like the inside jokes and you know some of the background stuff that uh, some of the messages behind the scenes. So again, make sure you guys uh, go check out Hank over on this stream. Uh, I'll drop the uh, the link there again. Yeah, so definitely watch we're that. Having, we're having a blast with that. So you guys come hang out in the stream. Uh, and drop your links if you guys are streaming too. I like to, uh, you know, come hang out on your stream too. So uh, anyone that's, uh, you know, doing any streaming in the community, I'm trying to get behind everybody and just show some support. So I appreciate it. No problem. So that's going to be it for us, guys. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. This has been Titch's Team Talk or whatever the hell we're going to call this segment. Well, I'll figure something better because it sounds terrible. But uh, again, thanks, <laughs> like Hank. Tish's team, team talk is that what we're sticking oh, yeah, with? That, that that's gonna stick. All right, Tish's team talk. It is first episode with me, Pack, Hank, Apotamus, Nick, Forty, uh, Karen. Thank you all for the bits. I know I didn't really call out things as they happen. Uh, I didn't really want to break too much of the flow. But uh, Karen, Forty, uh, thank you for the bits. Thanks to everybody, uh, Hank. Give everybody a goodbye and send us away. Give everybody what? Give everybody a goodbye and send us away. Hey, look, everybody.
Firewall. Peace. I love all you guys. Thanks for dropping in. It's Titch1987 in this bitch. He's got Hank Apotamus with him, and we're out of this motherfucker. We'll see you guys in pubs, rage quitting, on stream. Follow at Hank Apotamus Gaming. Peace out. Peace.